plot the graph of y is equal to 2 to the power x and use it to draw the graph of log base 2 of x. Okay, so here uh, we, we want to draw this and this together on the same uh, grid because the reason is y to the, uh, the graph of y is equal to 2 to the power x and the graph of y is equal to log base 2 of x are inverse of each other. So I'll explain that later on. So let us first draw the graph of y is equal to 2 to the power, two to the power x. So let us start by plotting some points. So this is y is equal to 2 to the power x. Okay, so let us take, let us start with when x is 0, 2 to the power 0 is 1. Okay, when this is 1, 2 to the power 1 is 2. When this is 2, this is 4. When this is 3, that is 8. So let us plot these points first. So the points are uh, 0, 1. So this is 0, 1. This is 1, 2. So this is next point. The next point is 3, 4. Sorry, 2, 4. And the next is 3, 8. Okay. So this is one branch. So let us go to the negative side. When x is negative 1, okay, this will be 2 to the power negative 1. So you can use a calculator, which is 1 half, which is 0 0.5. I'll show this on a calculator later on. When x is negative 2, this is 2 to the power negative 2, which is 1 quarter, which is 0 0.25, and so on. So if you have watched one of my videos, I did uh, a whole video on this graph. So when x is negative 3, this is 1 8, which is 0 0.125. So you can see a pattern here developing. When x is approaching, uh, x is becoming uh, negative, this will be approaching 0. So your asymptote uh, is your x-axis. So this is your horizontal asymptote. So this is for y is equal to 2 to the power x. So yeah, this is your asymptote. This is your asymptote. Asymptote. Okay. And the uh, uh, name of this line is x-axis, or if you want to write the equation of that line is y is equal to 0. That means... So let us plot the points. So this is when x is negative 1, this is 0 0.5. Okay, and when x is negative 2, is 0 0.25. So you can't plot, uh, it's very difficult to plot other points. So the graph would look like this. So this is called an exponential basic exponential graph. So here, as x approaches, x becomes bigger or greater than 0, this will be steeply increasing. So this graph is y is equal to 2 to the power x. So there are two branches, two main things here. This is the positive branch. This will increase steeply, and this will be approaching 0. From here, this will be approaching 0. This will never become 0. It will get closer and closer to 0, but will never become 0. So this is an asymptote. OK. So now, let us draw the graph of this. So let me draw a line here. This is a dividing line, okay. So there I, want, I wanted to see a close relation between these two values. When x, let us take x and y, y is equal to log base 2 of x. We may use a calculator to here. When x is 2, you're asking the question, so let me write that. This is log base 2 of 2. So if you know the log rules, log is nothing but an exponent. So you're asking 2 to which power gives you 2. Okay, so 2. So let us start, sorry, so let us start with 1. So when x is 1, when x is 1, this will be log base 2 of 1. So you're asking the question, 2 to which power gives you 1? So 2 to the power 0 gives you 1. I hope you know the log rules. This is nothing, log, when you say log base 2 of 1 is 0, means 2 to the power 0 is 1. When, we'll sh use a calculator to confirm these things. When x is 2, you're asking, you're writing log base 2 of 2. So you're asking the question, 
2 to which power gives you 2? Two? 2 to the power of 1. So this is how you can check 2 to the power of 1 is 2. When this is 3, oh, I can't take 3. 3 would not be a tidy number. I have to take 4. If you take 4, log base 2 of 4. So again, the other question is 2 to which power gives you 4? So 2 to the power 2 is 4. So the next number I'm taking is 8. I hope you can see a pattern. Log base 2 of 8 is 3. So let us plot these points. So when x is 1, so let me use a different color. When x is 1, y is 0. When x is 1, y is 0. So this is this point. So I should be using red color. So this is this point. When x is 1, y is 0. When x is 2, y is 1. When x is 4, y is 2. And when x is 8, it is 3. It is 3, yeah. Okay, so the next point would be 16. I can't plot that. So let us grab this part of the, this branch of the graph. This is y is equal. So it will go, it will grow slowly. Okay. Okay, so now next is, let me take some more value. So let me delete this. I want working space here. Okay, so what will happen when x is, if, let us approach 0, when x is half, when x is 0 0.5. Okay, so let me use, uh, I don't want to use calculator now, x is half. So this is log base 2 of half. Log base 2 of half is 2 to which power gives you half? So 2 to the power, negative 1 gives you half. So let me show you that. Uh, menu run, 2 raised to negative 1 gives you 0 0.5. Okay. So if you take a quarter, if you take a quarter, 2 log base 2 of a quarter. So 2 to which power gives you quarter? So that's negative 2. So again, let me show this on a calculator. 2 raised to negative 2 is 0 0.25, which is a quarter. Okay, and finally, let me take 1 eighth. If you take 1 eighth, I hope you can see the pattern now. 2 to the log base 2 of, a, of 1 eighth is negative 3. So as you can you see, as x is, x is approaching 0, this is one half, a quarter, a one eighth. This will be approaching infinity. So let me plot those points. So this is one. So half is when x is half, this is negative one. So the point is somewhere here. Okay, it's very difficult to plot. So this is a quarter here. This is negative two. So here, the branch would look like this. It's a very interesting type of graph. Log graphs are used widely in many. So let me you so this will be an oops. So uh, we were here. I had to stop the video for because uh, I had some problem with the recording. So this uh, what I was trying to tell is when x is approaching zero, your y would be approaching negative infinity. So your graph the, this branch of the graph would look like this. So this is this will be approaching. This is approaching zero. It can never be zero. Okay. So log of zero is not defined. Okay. So yeah. In other words, for this graph, your y your y axis is an asymptote. So yeah, your y axis is an asymptote. So for this branch, this is an asymptote. This is your asymptote. So I want you to look at both these types of graph. Okay, now if you look at these values, you look at this, this is 0, 1, this is 1, 0. This is 1, 2, this is 2, 1. This is 2, 4, this is 4, 2. Can you see a pattern there? Okay, if you go to the negative, it's negative 1, half, half, negative 1. It's negative 2, 0 0.25, okay? Uh, 0 0.25 is a quarter, so a quarter and negative. So in other words, log and log of 
log base 2 of x and y is equal to 2 to the power x are inverse graph of each other. So when you draw an inverse, the definition of an inverse function is the reflection of each other. So if you draw a line, yeah, so this line, so let me draw the line. So this line is called y is equal to x. This line is called y is equal to x. So that is how you define, decide whether the functions are inverse of each other. So if you draw a line joining these points, so let me use a different line. So this is a line too. I hope you can see this line is called y is equal to x. So let me move this slightly up. So this line is y is equal to x y is equal to x and these two graphs are reflection of each other okay or if you think in a different way from from this graph if you want to draw this graph you only have to swap the coordinates when it is 0 1 for this graph for log of log base 2 of x it is 1 0 here it is 1 2 this is 2 1 so in that way also you can see they are inverse of each other for this graph your x-axis is your asymptote, and for this graph, log graph, your y-axis is an asymptote. Okay, thinking in a different way. When x is approaching zero, when x is a, a sorry, when x is approaching negative infinity, y is approaching zero. And here, when x is approaching zero, y is in, y is approaching negative infinity. Can you see they are opposite to each other? In a graphical way, they are reflection of each other over this line, which is the mirror line.